What's good day talks? I'm Bhavyasri Billuri. And I'm Bailey Williams. Today is September 13th, 2024. And you're watching this week's latest episode of DE Talks. Recent news, Southern Illinois University decision to raise salaries and award bonuses to some of its top administrators is causing quite a stir. The SIU Board of Trustees approved these changes back on July 11th of 2024. Chancellor Austin Lane and System President Daniel Mahoney received performance bonuses, while Wendell Williams was promoted to Vice Chancellor for Enrollment Management, bumping his salary up to $185,203. That's right. Faculty and staff aren't all on board with this decision. A lot of them are concerned about where the university's penalties lie, especially since many haven't seen wages increasing themselves. In fact, a recent survey by the Daily Egyptian showed the most faculty and the staff strongly disagreed with the pay hikes, citing low morale and resource allocation issues. But there are some who argue that the bonuses are necessary. They say it's all about retaining top talent in competitive higher education landscape. Still, this has definitely sparked a debate on campus as SIU continues to balance its financial challenges with its ambitious long-term goals. It's like becoming a Carnegie R1 university. That's a complex situation, and it will be interesting to see how it unfolds as the university community continues to voice its concerns. SIU's School of Theater and Dance is struggling due to severe budget cuts, losing all funding for recruitment, productions, and student workers for this year. Director H.G. Modell says that the cuts have forced the school to scale back on productions, including the lighting fee, and left the students without paid positions. Modell warns that continued cuts could harm the enrollment and the school's ability to stage future shows, stressing that the theater remains an essential part of the SIU community. Gary R. Schaefer, the long-serving manager of Southern Illinois Airport, will retire on March 31st, 2025. After 46 years at the airport, including 44 as manager, under his leadership, the airport doubled in size to 1,200 acres, added a third runway, and became the fourth busiest in Illinois. Schaefer, a licensed pilot and former SIU aviation instructor, oversaw 120 million dollars in facility improvements and attracted 20 tenants, including SIU's aviation and automotive programs. Schaefer called his tenure the honor and privilege of my life. On September 4th, 2024, Southern Illinois University reported a 3.8% increase in fall 2024 enrollment, reaching 11,790 students, the largest jump in 33 years. Freshman numbers rose by 8.45%, and online enrollment increased by 13%. The university also saw gains in diversity with a 9% increase in black students and a 12% rise in Hispanic students. Chancellor Austin A. Lane said that SIU's aim for 15,000 students by 2030, focusing on local recruitment and boosting its retention rate from the current 67% to 80% recruitment offers for fall 2025 are already underway. The Black Affairs Council and Student Programming Council at Southern Illinois University in collaboration with Carbondale's NAACP branch hosted the Salukis Vote Counts event to boost student voter registration. NAACP President Linda Flowers highlighted the significant role young, young voters will play in upcoming elections. While Demetrius Lovejoy from the Black Affairs Council stressed the importance of political engagement. The event featured pamphlets on Project 2025, a conservative policy blueprint outlining controversial proposals such as restrictive reproductive rights and rolling back civic rights protections. Attendees were encouraged to register to vote and seek unbiased information on candidates. Selma, Illinois University defeated Austin Peay State University 31-14 on September 7th. Key plays included safety, you buy Steed's force humble, 
and Isaiah Bigby's recovery, which halted a crucial APSU drive. SIU led 14-10 at halftime and extended their lead with a touchdown pass to Ryan Schwinderman. The Saluki defense dominated in the fourth quarter, recording six sacks and holding APSU to negative yardage. Running back Sean Lester rushed for 111 yards and a touchdown. SIU will face the University of Incarnate Word in their home opener next Saturday. Thank you for watching this week's episode of DE Talks. For more information, please visit dailyegyptian.com. And follow us on all of our socials at Daily Egyptian on either Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and TikTok. Links will be in below in the bio right here. Until next time, have a great weekend. Until then, please comment and subscribe.